Good morning, everybody here. And uh, I'm very glad to, that you could be here and uh, with me. And uh, now I'm, uh, I'm from High Target and uh, a GNSS receiver manufacturer from China. Uh, today, my topic will be to share you about our GNSS uh, smart antenna with IMU and cameras. OK, the slides of today will be divided into four parts. The first one is an introduction about this specific product, VRTK. And the next will be some function highlights about the product. And then applications where you could use the Vision RTK to in your job. And at last, some cases to share. OK, this is me. And uh, so nowadays, a lot of uh, GSS manufacturers, they prefer to put a lot of sensors in the receivers. For example, several uh, very major characteristics uh, you can see in the current RTKs. The first is, of course, the IMU unit. Because for some reasons, you cannot put the tip of the port to the target, and you need to tilt a bit, so the tilt compensation is there. Now it's a standard, uh, standard function for, IMU, for I2Ks. And then the satellite-based augmentation system to get a, a very strong signal in the areas, for example, for in desert, because there are no cost reference stations to assist uh, improve the accuracy. And of course, for seas, and there's no communication at all. And for the urban areas, there's also very difficult to get fixed of your RTK. And then for constellation of multi-frequency, now you know, everybody knows that we have several uh, constellations in the sky, GPS, GLONASS, Galileo. And now Chinese have launched the Beidou system already working in the sky. And also there are uh, QZSS, if you mention Japan. So uh, apart from the IMU and for constellation, what would be new? Where is the innovation nowadays? And at last year, High Target has launched the first GNSS RTK smart antenna with two cameras. Maybe before you have seen already one a big brand, they have one uh, camera version of GNSS RTK. And uh, High Target would be the first to launch a product with two cameras. And uh, I believe nowadays, today, like uh, this time in, at Intergeo 2023, you've seen a lot of uh, RTKs that have two cameras. But uh, we launched this product last year. So this is the innovation. And that we believe the camera will help a lot for your job in the field. So uh, measurement will no longer hit the wall anywhere. And what you see is what you get, which means if you see the picture, you can capture with the GSS RTK, the VRTK we have. And then you will get a point directly from the image. And the size of the RTK is also getting smaller. And it's a pocket size with only 900 grams. And you, it's easy to carry, of course. And the signal and data, the strong signal, we have 1,400 uh, channels of the GSS chip. It's full system uh, supported, full frequency at point, and multi-frequency point anti and anti-interference technology is also adopted. And uh, of course, high fix function is very well known for high, for high target product. In case there is no signal area, the, uh, the system will adopt uh, the previous several minutes uh, ephemeris data and uh, keeps the uh, accuracy uh, to be uh, uh, enough to use. And it will stand for five minutes if you lost correction for some areas. And uh, the IMU, of course, nowadays everybody has MU. And we also updated our new IMU system. And it will be a calibration-free system. And you can directly uh, start it and then do the tilt survey and do the tilt compensation at a very uh, easy step. This picture shows how to enable the system. No need to shake and, and no more. And just start it and go for a walk. And you will go into the tilt compensation mode. OK, for the uh, test result, you can see uh, in the open sky and the canopy environment, it's all available. And the IMU accuracy of VRTK is better, especially for large angles like uh, 30 degrees and a complex environment. 
and uh, the camera. Now we talk about uh, positioning and image. What the camera could do at first, it's for AI live uh, view staking out, and second is for image survey, and uh, the last uh, 3D modeling. Uh, before we, when we trying to find a, a point in the field, you will use the conventional way. The screen maybe in, will indicate you go forward, go left, go right, and then maybe with tilt survey we can tilt. Uh, we can we can make the port tilt on the shoulder and do a, like a swiping mode. And now the VRTK has two cameras. The bottom camera will indicate you where the point is, and uh, you can see from the display. There is a picture with a real live, live stream picture. You can directly find the point on the picture. This uh, is uh, actually there is a video. I'm not sure if you can help me to click the, 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 the video. Hello? Uh, the video of the right side. Yeah, yeah, it's, this also works. And uh, like you can see, when you walk from uh, to in, uh, toward you walk, when you reach to the point, you will find the point is directly over there, and the, you, that's the point that you need to find. It's very simple to use, and the bottom camera will be a sufficient tool to find the points. Okay, and the image survey is a kind of non-contact surveying technology. The front camera will take several pictures for the area that you want to scan or you want to uh, collect. So uh, with several pictures, after processing, you can directly get the point on the wall. It's a kind of a land photogrammetry technology. And uh, the range will be maximum at 15 uh, meters. So it's, not, uh, it's already enough for most of the applications. Uh, if you are a surveyor, you must have an experience that being chased by dogs in the wild, right? If you are not chased by a dog, maybe you are not a qualified surveyor, I think. So sometimes in the area, uh, dog sudden comes out, and you, need, you cannot get too close to the target. And of course, some, uh, uh, if there is a river, you need to uh, take measurements off-site, so uh, you cannot go over there too. And some dangerous environment and some blocked areas, uh, it uh, would be a problem in the field. And uh, with this uh, new uh, VRTK, you can take several pictures and directly find the points you need to collect. The, uh, the coordinate will be directly generated in the software. Okay, for the applications, uh, there is another application is to do 3D modeling, as you, we have the photo photogrammetry algorithm running. And if you take enough pictures, the uh, models on the ground will be built in the software. So we support several, uh, we have our own softwares, and also you can adopt the third party software, very famous softwares, et cetera. And uh, like, like this, if I want to make a 3D modeling for this area, you can take pictures around and then put everything into software. The, this kind of 3D modeling will be generated. OK, and uh, to work together with oblique uh, for photogrammetry with drones, the first one you can see if you fly only with drones and to do the oblique to photogrammetry modeling, you will find some detailed, uh, some parts of here are not very, will not be very well uh, modeled because the cover from the sky, you cannot take pictures of that. But with the VRTK working together, you can find the details will be very well distributed in the modeling result. OK, for cases, the first one case to use the VRTK is to do measurement earthwork volume. And uh, this is a case uh, for, uh, uh, it's a project. We have a 2.5 kilometers long area and a 50 meters wide. Uh, it's an urban road construction project. And the, pur the purpose of this project is to clean up the, all, the, all the dust uh, all the earthwork around on the on the street, and uh, we need to calculate how many tracks are needed. And uh, if you fly with drones, it will be complex uh, operation because in the urban areas, uh, is there are some restrictions with drones. And uh, if you use uh, lidar scanners, I think it's not also a very professional job. But using an RTK, you can uh, also uh, in the area. It's difficult to walk inside to click points. 
And with uh, VRTK, you can not only measure the area, the outline, you can also do the 3D modeling directly, and uh, so the volume calculation is done at one time. So the step is to use VRTK to determine the area, and then get scan the area with photos, and then process it through modeling software, and then export the result and the report. So you can see it's uh, uh, the first one is to determine the area and then take pictures, then do the processing, and then calculate and generate a report. It's very simple to operate and a clear, very clear workflow. And the second one is the 3D modeling for ancient buildings. We already got the uh, models with drones, and uh, the rough uh, model is built, but it's ancient buildings, so the detailed information should be captured. and. Uh, as you can see, the challenge is the traditional 3D modeling. If you look into the details, it's not very well. Under trees, under the roof, or the, some uh, memorial writings cannot be seen. But work to work with VRTK, it's uh, complementary for the solution. VRTK ground, uh, you take several a series of pictures, and merge after you generate the, uh, you have the triangulation, calculation of the photos, merge everything in one project, and the 3D construction will be done at one time. So this is the workflow step one to acquire with drone, and then process the data together. Up on the sky, you will see that's uh, the drone's uh, trajectory. And on the ground, it's the trajectory of the VRTK. So this is the final mo modeling result. And there's a bit comparison. If you work without VRTK, it's uh, under the roof, it's all blurred. But together work with VRTK, you can see it's very detailed under the roof. So for uh, nowadays people talking digital twins or some uh, 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 smart cities, some uh, 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 mesh something, VRTK would be a very useful tool for you. This is another detail on the trees and here this side under the roof. It's all very clear. And uh, some writings, history writings, you can see the, the writings are very uh, easy to distinguish. OK, thank you. That's all my presentation. And uh, in future, if you have some questions, you can contact us and contact HITAC directly, or you can come to our booth. Our booth is at B2570.